Now, the first thing that a scout should do when they get into the app is they should grab mom and dad and head on over to the rewards page to set a goal. I always recommend that a scout complete this step with their parents because they're going to need their parents' support to reach their goal. It just makes sense that everybody starts off on the same page right from the beginning. So a scout will set their goal by navigating to the rewards section. You open the navigation menu by clicking on the three lines in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then you will select rewards. As soon as you open the screen, you have a bunch of different prize ideas. You simply wanna scroll through all of these options and discuss them as a family. You wanna select the option that makes the most sense for you. Now you can set your goal by clicking on the heart within that option, or you can go to the top of the screen and click on the pencil to add your goal. Now the next thing that you're gonna do is you need to go and personalize your page. This is another step that's usually helpful to have mom and dad um, with the scout while they complete. Now, once again, you'll open up the navigation menu by clicking on those three lines in the upper corner, and then you want to go to the manage page section. From here, you want to tell your potential customers a little bit more about your scout. Now, I got a son who's working to earn his way to National Jamboree, so that's what I have in here, but you want to personalize this to your scouting adventure. Uh, next, you want to go and help your scout select their favorite product. Now, I don't know about your kids, but my kids have a different favorite every single year. So we always come in here and we skim through the products, find the favorite and select it. Now, one very important piece to things this year is going to be adding your personality. What better way to do that than adding some photos and videos? I suggest adding at least one photo or video to this section. And most definitely, you need to come and you need to upload a profile photo. This will be shared. It will be shared every single time your scout shares their fundraising page. It'll be one of the first things that your potential customers see, and it makes a huge, huge difference. Be sure that you have that personal touch in there. Now you also want to make sure to add a personal touch when you're sharing your page. As you can see, we have a variety of different options for you to share. You could do text, email, social media, or you can simply copy the information to a clipboard to paste it anywhere. But be sure you want to add some personal touches. Add a cute little story, a little blurb, something that's going to get your customer's attention. Now that we have things set up, I would like to navigate back on over to the dashboard and point a few things out to you. We've got some, some new upgrades that I think you guys are really gonna like. The first thing I would like to point out is that we have a new selling feature this year. It's called Online Direct. And while I wish I could say that this idea came from Trails In, it didn't. It actually came from an awesome scout named Nathan. Nathan was really eager and he had the idea to go door to door with his iPad selling the online product mix. Nathan had a ton of success with this method and he quickly got our attention. We decided that we wanted to give it a try and we wanted to see if Nathan was a one hit wonder or if he was on to something. So we ran some tests in Indy and we found that scouts were selling over $100 an hour with this method. So we decided it was something everybody needed to have the option to do. So we have now added the online direct option for all scouts within the Trails In app. You simply open that option. You're going to record a sale here the same way you would record a wagon sale or a storefront sale, except the only options are going to be all of the online products. These products will be sent directly to your customer. There's no return delivery required. Next, I would like to go back to the dashboard and I would like to show you our wagon sale screen because this is another screen where we have made a lot of improvements. To start a sale, you're gonna click on the cart and as soon as we open it up, you will see a difference. We heard you guys when you said that we needed to make the images larger and easier to see, as well as the prices, and that's what we did. We also cut the number of clicks down by half to complete a sale. It's only four clicks this year. If you click on the three dots in the gray Rubik's Cube, you're able to bring up a different checkout view. Either view operates the same. You simply tap an item to add it to the cart. If you add an item by accident, you can swipe to the left to remove an item 
or you can swipe to the right to get more information about the product or you can add and reduce the number of items. Once you've added all of your items to the cart, don't forget to ask your customer if they would like to donate popcorn to the American Heroes, which includes the military and first responders. Let's check out our storefront menu. Um, there's not a lot of changes here. You are able to pick a shift either from the calendar or from the list. You simply find an option that works for you and click on the sign up option. Then you are able to add it to your calendar if you would like. Um, all of your sales at the storefront are gonna be recorded just like your wagon sale. The only difference being that there's no undelivered option. We have the same two payment features available this year that we had last year. Obviously we can accept cash, but I know with my sale, I am going to try to limit as much cash exposure as I possibly can. I am always gonna be telling my scouts that our preferred method of payment is credit. Credit card transactions don't cost anything at the unit, at the council level. Trails in takes care of all of that for us. So for me, it just makes more sense that our preferred method of payment in 2020 should be credit. Now I would also like to open up the navigation menu again, and let's go and check out the training section. The training section has a ton of different videos. We have videos for leaders, for scouts, for parents on a variety of different options. If your scouts are looking for some tips for success, we have this little cutie that can help them out. And we also have all of these printable resources that are available for your scouts. Anything from scripts to thank you cards. Uh, we even have templates for business cards and door hangers. We also have the path to advancement here. This is an excellent resource. This will help you see what requirements your scouts are satisfying just by participating in the popcorn sale. Something new that we have this year that I would also like to point out to you is the recruit a scout feature. So if you're out and about and meet a potential scout, now you have the ability to record their information and send them a message. I know that I always get approached by families that are looking to join scouting, and I've always had a clipboard at the table, but this sends them an immediate communication with your information right then and there. I think it's awesome, and it's really going to help us bring scouting to the community. Just as a reminder, your dashboard will help you track your scout seals in real time. Now don't forget to share your fundraising page as often as you can. I always suggest sharing it at least once a week and I have found that Sunday evenings are the best time to share your page. Coming soon, we have a parent credit payment feature where parents will be able to take their money that they accumulate from their popcorn sales and they can deposit that into their own account, and then just use their credit card to pay the unit. I'd like to recap on some of the bigger changes before we wrap things up. First, I'd like to point out that we are working with a new interface, Google Flutter. As you've seen throughout the app, things are smoother, more snappy, more intuitive, uh, much easier to complete. The registration process is more simplified, both for individuals and for sibling accounts. And it is much easier for parents to toggle between sibling from sibling to sibling in their accounts. We've made many improvements throughout the app to make your experience even better than it was before. Now, don't forget, I would always recommend working on your own a little bit more this year than years past. I would definitely suggest those individual shifts and those credit card payment options. If you're looking for help or advice, I always suggest that you reach out to the Facebook groups.